All right, guys, let's go through all the Soban's cards so far. I only made Fortress cards just because I don't have enough time. I just made, and I only have common cards. I'm working on the uncommon cards. I haven't started on the template yet, so let's check out the cards so far. I have a bear, a cannon, and you can barely see it, but there's a tiny insignia there. Just doesn't show. Cannon. Wait, I should probably t show you what they do. So, this bear is a monster. It is obviously a common. Uh, it has claw four times, weak two times against ocean. And its stats are two attack and two defense. This cannon is an item. I should uh, make it a land, but whatever. This applies only to base or land cards. Yeah, that makes more sense. Two out of zero. I'll just make that right there. It looks like a sword, but it's also two. So I'll show you what that does. A double potion. It's an item. Uh, let's one creature of your choice attack two times. Uh, every turn, one creature can attack one time. But that double potion uh, makes lets them attack two times. A sorcerer. Uh, their their sorcerer is a bi very basic card. Two attack, two defense. As magic for its weapon. Animal chainmail. This applies only to an animal card only. This applies to an animal card only. Or monster. Uh, I kind of mismade that. Miswrote that. So, as one defense. Uh, chain mail. This applies to a hero card only. And plus one defense. This is a training room. This is a land card. Land cards uh, are different. I'll show you what they do. A mercenary. Does two times damage to fire. It does three attack and it has two defense. A claw. This applies to a monster only. Plus, plus one attack. An archer. Cannot be affected by ranged weapons. Melee damage time two. So if you attach it, attack it with a sword. Uh, if your creature has a sword, then it will do two times damage. But if you attack it with another archer, it will do no damage. A mercenary. Here I saw. Wait, I have two. Ugh. Whatever. A sword. This is basically a claw, but for hero cards. A soldier cannot be attacked. It's a sword and a shield. Cannot be attacked by fortress creatures. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah. It do, it does six two. Uh, fortress's specialty is good attack and equal attack and defense. Mines. That's another land card. Boost one hero's slash monsters stats plus two one. Uh, a warrior does two times damage to ocean. A fortress. This is a base card. I'll show you that, but. It says boost one card of your choice, plus two two to that he hero slash monster, recharge, and it can attack for five damage. That's pretty off, but its recharge is every five turns. So every five turns you can do five damage. A forgery, boost one hero's monster stats plus one two. It's basically like a mine, but uh, for defense, the mines are attack. And the dragon, winged, tame. Winged basically means cannot be affected by winged, other winged creatures. And tame just means that you, you can use it. Uh, untamed, like, tamed means uh, every tur two turns you can attack two times, so he is pretty op. Uh, and hounds, just two times... Damage to ocean. It's pretty much a mercenary, but it can do two times damage to ocean. So, uh, this cannon 
is different in the sense that it is the only thing that affects these land or base cards. Um, I recommend sending it to your fortress. The fortress is a base card. There, I'm also going to add in ocean and lava. I mean, uh, volcano. And those are base cards. Boost one card of your choice. Yeah, already, uh. So, if you equip this here, it's a normal item, except it only applies to these cards. Then, this can do seven. Seven damage every five turns, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so, let's say I equip it to the forgery. Then, it has three. It, you can add it three, two, so... You can add it to a hero for 3-2. So let's say I get hounds. If I plus 3-2, it would be 6-4. So that's pretty cool. And so on and so on. Ah. I'll show you how to use these lands, uh, land cards. And how to actually play the game. So, first off, what you need is to have a base card. Without a base card, you cannot play the game. You have to at least have one base card. Fortress. You can play multiple base cards. And every base, but it has, it cannot be double. Like, you cannot play two fortresses. But you can play a fortress, an ocean, and a, and a volcano multiple times. So if I have a fortress, it is a fortress card. Ah, uh, so if I play it, I have to put it there. You can build off of it with lands. I only have three lands right now. I'm going to add an uncommon land and a mystic land. I mean, a legend land. So we can just put it around like that. Training room. Uh, you need to have a base to play land cards. And for every... Uh, for every fortress base card, you can have five land cards. But you can only play the land cards with with the same type, so fortress. And with that, you can only, and if I have a fortress, I can only play fortress cards. So if I maybe play a squid, I'm gonna add that in the ocean. I cannot. If I have a squid, I cannot play the squid. Unless I have an ocean. But if I have only a fortress, I can only play all the fortress cards. I cannot play any of the other types of cards. So, pretty simple rules. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like, personally, I like the concept. Just because uh, it's a very simple, basic concept. It, in one of my videos, I explain, uh, in the first booster pack, you might want to have a very, in the, in the first set, you might want to have very simple rules to get starters started, uh, and in the second set, you might want to advance more. Like, in the second set, I plan to make all five tribes reun uh, reincarnated, which is also into going to interact with the story a lot impact the story a lot uh in the comics and stuff and the actual story itself but yeah these are all the cards i made there are tons and tons and tons of cards for only the fortress cards common fortress cards too so yeah see you guys later bye